welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to get or find your api keys here on Airtable. let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here on Airtable, I want you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow the on screen instructions and you're good to go. Obtaining your Airtable API keys is a straightforward process that opens up a range of possibilities for integrating Airtable with other applications and automating workflows. Now, once you are here on your Airtable account, you might want to hover to the upper right corner where you can see your profile icon and then click that you would have an option here that says integrations builder hub manage groups contact sales and upgrades i want you to click on the builder hub option and from here you're going to be having an option for the personal access tokens and the api key all right now, I want you to click on the API key for now. All right. As you can see, API keys are deprecated. And as of February 1st, 2024, Airtable API keys are deprecated and no longer work. Instead of using an API key, you need to migrate to personal access tokens, which allows you to more secure, securely grant API access to Airtable data. All right. And for that to happen, all you have to do is click this create token button, right? Just wait for it. And as you can see, you have no personal access tokens yet because personal access tokens grant permissions to read and write data via the Airtable API. Just click on the create the uh, token. In this case, I'm going to name it as TPLAFS API keys, right? Now with this, you can add a scope, right? that means you can record data in comments you can choose the data records at right wherein you can create edit and delete records you can also see comments and records create edit and delete record comments or there's a lot you can use the webhook which i believe this these options are for those with coding background or technical expertise if you don't have any of it, don't worry because this video is just for you to finding your API keys if in case you need it, all right? Now, I'm going to just, you know, uh, choose the first option and I'm going to create a token. Also, you see, when you go to the access, all right, this token can access the following bases and workspaces. That means you can only grant access to bases and workspaces you have access to. If you want, you can add a base, for example, this, maybe this one right here. All right. And if you want to add more base here, you might want to click on this and create a token. Now, this is going to be your Airtable API. All right. With this, you can automate repeti repetitive tasks such as updating records, adding new entries, or syncing data between Airtable other platforms because automation tools like Zapier or Integromat can help you achieve this more efficiently. After you've done that, make sure you have copied this into a safe place. Copy that. You see this um button right here and click on done. All right. And that's how you get your Airtable API keys and token. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.